Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This video is my most recent haul from L3. And I have um, um, one, one or two more items from a previous haul that I just thought I would throw in here because it's summertime scents, it's fun, and you know, it kind of goes along with a little, um, a couple of the other blends that I have in here. So let's get started. L3. L3 Waxy Wonders, owned by Jennifer Westing from Junction City, Oregon. I love L3. Uh, great customer service, extensive blends, listens to customers, blend pours, pours our requests, isn't afraid to, you know, pour something that isn't, uh, um, you know, our customs. She offers extra, extra customs over pours, you know, with the with the next ready to ships. I just can't say enough good things about L3. But one thing that I think a lot of people love that we really don't talk about a ton are scoops. And scoops is scoops are something that I have always loved. And I admit I don't reach for them as much as I should because to me, scoops, the formula that that Jen's Jen has, the scents last longer they're a little bit more concentrated in terms of, of the, the strength it seems to be a little bit stronger and they're very versatile you can put this in your purse if you want to or your 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 briefcase backpack whatever you want you can take it with you um the lid comes off and they stack easily there's just and, and there's and there's just oh i i know um i just i, I love scoops so she had a scoop sale a couple of weeks ago, I think. So I treated myself to some new scoops, knowing that I wanted to use the scoops I already have. I have most of my scoops in my collection from all vendors in one area for the most part. There's a few stragglers here and there, but I want to concentrate on using scoops a little bit more, um, especially in the warmer months, I find it that the scent just is even better in the summer with scoops. I know it's weird, but it's just something that I've noticed in my home. So um, I also have a couple of bunts and a couple of mini loaves here. The um, and I think I have one more mini loaf somewhere, but I don't know. <laughs> I think I already put it away. But I wanted to talk about these scents. So sorry if I'm a little out of sorts today. I just thought I would do this video. I wasn't going to do a video for these, but I thought, you know, there's a lot of good scents in here. I want to, I want to give the, give the moment and the spotlight to. So in no particular order, Danish butter cookies, zucchini bread. You've got to like zucchini bread to like this one because this is that perfect creamy, little bit of spice zucchini bread. I can't get too much of the Danish butter cookies here, but I know that it, the Danish butter cookie is creamy, it's a bakery, it's crispy, and mixing it with the zucchini bread is a no-brainer. I love zucchini bread. Jen kills it with all of her zucchini bread blend creations. It's there. I just, I'll never stop buying zucchini bread blends. So I snatched this one up because I really wanted to have that little bit toned down version of zucchini bread because zucchini bread is strong, especially L3's oil, in, in my opinion. So this here is a great one to have and it's an incredible blender. You could just go to town with this, blending this with a lot of things. So another reason to add scoops to your arsenal or collection, I should say, um, you can blend them very, very easily. Scoop of this, scoop of that, you know, the ratios, all that stuff is fun. Okay, next is Grassy Pants. Grassy Pants is one of my blends that won last spring for one of the customer creation contests. Grassy Pants. Fresh picked strawberries, fresh cut grass, sweet lavender, and watermelon. I love this blend, and not just because it was my creation. I would love this blend no matter who thought of it because it is fantastic. You get the watermelon, you get the fresh cut grass, you get the lavender, the sweet lavender, and you get that that little bit of strawberry. This is spectacular. It's this it's grassy pant season. It's it's grass is being cut, watermelons are in the stores now, summertime's almost here, and this is a great one. I had I I only had one, uh, I think I had a matrix melt in grassy pants and I'm out of grassy pants. I don't have any more until I bought this. I should have bought two, honestly. And I think I, 
I think I might have talked about this one before in that haul video, but since I'm talking about so many scoops, I would just give this a minute again to talk about because it's such a good one. If you like fresh cut grass, I mean, fresh cut grass is so perfect for this time of year. Next one is tomato cucumber garden mint. I saw this on the site and I thought, was that somebody's custom or is this something that they're going to be pouring? Because I love a good tomato. I love cucumber. I love mint together. This smells like a garden. This is a fresh cut tomato. This is a cucumber, cucumber tomato salad. My mom used to do cucumber and tomato, a little bit of onion with not just Italian dressing. She would do vinegar and olive oil and season it. And just that was, that was our salads in the summer. And I absolutely love it. And I do it now in my home. So I saw this and I was going to gonna buy two but then I thought I'll just try it and see and when I, when I got it and I loved it I went back it was all sold out so this is going to go on my customs list I love this please keep the oils for this one because it's it is it is great I know I just can't stop smelling it because it is fresh tomato it's fresh cucumber it's fantastic <laughs> Next one, this is fresh picked strawberries, vanilla butter fudge, vanilla bean noel, and vanilla cookies. Lots of vanilla happening in here. But what drew me to this one was the fresh cut strawberries. I haven't really had it with vanilla butter fudge and with vanilla bean noel and vanilla cookies. This one here, you get the integrity of that fresh picked strawberries. And I know so many of us, of us out there love fresh picked strawberries. It's a beautiful oil. Mixing it with vanilla butter fudge, which is, you know, vanilla fudge. It bumps up that butteriness. There's somebody knocking on my front door, so sorry. That's <laughs> why I was distracted for a second. It's buttery. It is creamy. It bumps up that richness factor to anything vanilla butter fudge is in. And I am particularly interested in trying this one out. It's a good one. Okay, next one is Poison Ivy. Now, Poison Ivy is fresh ivy vines, juicy melon, crispy citrus, jasmine, and driftwood. And why I was interested in this one, I was debating buying this one or not. Because I wasn't quite sure how the jasmine and the driftwood would work in here. I don't know if this is a single oil. I don't know if this is, if this is a blend of several oils. I'm not sure. But I really was drawn to the melon and the juicy ivy vines. Because I really like a good green scent every now and again. I really do. So this one, upon first sniff, it's clean. It's fresh. It's green. I can smell the melon. I can really smell the melon in here. Um, not so much citrus per se. I don't really get jasmine. I don't really get driftwood, but those ones might come out on warm, which happens all the time, as you guys know. The ivy, that greenery is there, that freshness is there, that crispness is there. This is one I'm going to be melting pretty soon because I'm interested in how that one performs. Next, I grabbed the Beach Nights. This is a warm blend of toasted marshmallows, sea breezes, and s'mores. Now, this one here, Jen's Beach Nights is really salty. It's really salty. That salty, I don't know if it's salty sea air or, or it's, I think this is a single oil. I'm not sure though, but this is the saltiest that I have smelled throughout all the vendors that I have had in the wax world. This is not my favorite beach nights, but it serves its purpose and it blends incredibly well with a lot of other stuff. So I wanted to have this on hand because I've only had beach nights plain in, um, I think I had a mini loaf, a bitty betty a, a year ago or so, and I haven't had any plain beach nights in my collection. So I grabbed this to blend. Um, it, but I will, I will say those of you that are kind of on the fence with beach nights and you don't like incredibly saltiest salt, salty blends or salty sea air isn't your thing. I personally, my nose does pick up on that saltiness in this one here, but, um, it works well when it's blended. That that saltiness kind of, kind of goes away. On um, alone, plain, it's pretty heavy. So I hope that makes sense. Next is watermelon, strawberry pound cake, cherry marshmallow. 
why I got this one is I have really been into watermelon lately. And it's watermelon season anyways, wax-wise at least. And I didn't have much watermelon scents in my collection, so I grabbed a handful here. Um, I really like how the watermelon, the cherry, and the strawberry pound cake, especially the watermelon and the cherry, they are just rich, bold, juicy fruits. And you can smell the strawberry pound cake too, just just how Jen's strawberry pound cake is specially made for her. So it's not just a single oil. It smells a little bit more strawberry than the single oils and some of the other vendors out there who just have the Bath and Body Works type oil. This one, oh, I'm going to get this one going too. This would be fantastic blended with uh, Dole Whip, which is pineapple and vanilla ice cream. It would be great blended with Palo Santo. You could blend this. I would even put blueberry in with this. Pomegranate would be fantastic. Just, it's endless possibilities. And finally, I got banana palm leaf. I'm not quite sure the oil in this, or the, the if, it, if this is a single oil, or if it's a, you know, blend, I'm not sure. And there aren't any notes on here, but I got this thinking that it's not banana and palm leaf. I think it's a banana leaf, you know, and I was hoping this would be a little bit more green, a little bit more fresh. This does have a, a tropical fresh vibe to it. So this one is what I'm going to, I want to get this to blend and put a little bit more tropical stuff, a little bit of tropical vibe into some of the other uh, blends that I have already in my collection. I just got this for blending. Okay. I have... Two bunts and two bitty bitty loaves. First one is cucumber watermelon honeydew. I got two of these. This one I grabbed because I love all three of these. I just got done telling you how much I love cucumber. But when you put cucumber in with melon, it I mean cucumber melon, hello. Everybody has smelled cucumber melon out there in the in I think most of the most of the world has smelled cucumber melon at this point. It was huge when I was in high school and even, you know, junior high, whenever it came out, everybody had cucumber melon. And to this day, I really love it. I know there's some of you out there who have burnt yourself out on cucumber melon, but this with the addition of the watermelon in here and the honeydew to me cucumber melon is more honeydew melon and cucumber not necessarily watermelon so this is fresh this is it's great for a spa day it's great for relaxation it could be in a bathroom you can even add some more fruits to this go go crazy with this one that's what i intended to do and that's why i bought two one so i could enjoy this and the other one i can blend with Next is watermelon and salty Sierra. I love watermelon, and I think when these these were offered, they had watermelon spin cycle or watermelon something. I love watermelon and laundry too. It's it's one of the best combinations to me in the laundry department. This one is that fresh watermelon with just a slight touch of the salty Sierra. It's not as heavy salt wise as the Beach Nights is. How I try to explain that to you. This one is fresh it's great it's crisp it's refreshing it's it's everything that watermelon is and bunts watermelon sugar high this is smells like strawberries on a summer evening and watermelon spun sugar so this is strawberry and watermelon i mean you can't go wrong with it the first thing it hits my nose on cold is strawberry and then you have the juiciness of the watermelon that follows and Oh, that's so good. I'm going to chop this up and get this going in the next couple of weeks. Let it cure a little bit more. I did get this back in April, but you know, it's, you can't hurt. This is fantastic. I really like this. Um, I think there, there are some, she's having a bunt sell right now and there are a lot of sold out bunts on the site right now, but I think watermelon sugar high is still available, but there is a lot of watermelon ones on there right now. Next one is watermelon, fresh picked strawberries and sugar cakes. This one is great. Mmm. I love the strawberry and the watermelon together. And then you have that vanilla richness bakery of the sugar cakes. This is, this is fantastic. I think a couple of you have posted in the group how this one is fantastic. And I was happy when I bought that one. <laughs> Excuse me. I've had these bunts and mini loaves for a little while. So I just thought I'd throw them into this video. 
this last, the last order I got was just basically scoops and I think one other item. I don't remember which one it was right now though. Okay, my samples, I have Baccarat Rouge and Warm Vanilla Sugar. This is fantastic. I love Baccarat. It's tough to describe. It's smoky, it's sultry, it's classy, and it's great blended with a lot of other things. Death Note, I'm not quite sure what this one is. But it smells fresh. I don't know if it's a melon or what it is in here. I'm bad with blind sniffing and telling you what's in it unless it's absolutely obvious. So Death Note, I'll have to talk about that later once I figure out what's in it. And then finally, banana, cheesecake, sugar cakes, vanilla wafer, and pie crust. So lots of heavy bakery going on in here. And I usually am not a fan of cheesecake scents, but there's enough other stuff in here to kind of off put that little bit of sourness, I think it is, with cheesecake blends and cheesecake oils. But this one smells good. I'll put that one in my bathroom. So that was just a little video from my last L3 haul. I do have my pre-order and my customer creation contest, the Mayflowers. Um, they're going to be shipping next week, and the pre-orders are going to be shipping next week too. So I'll have that haul video, which will be a little bit bigger um, in the next couple of weeks. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great week, and I'll see you soon.